This summer, the Ohio National Guard hosted members of the news media at a special orientation event held at an Army Aviation Flight Facility. So we're at Rickenbacker and it's for Media Days. This is actually the second one I've been involved in. I remember back in 2019, it was a little bit different. It was a disaster training kind of situation. Today, we're really learning more about the National Guard and the Air National Guard as a uh, like an organization and the organizational process that uh, you guys have here. Members of the media were given the opportunity to fly in a UH-60 Blackhawk. The Ohio National Guard had the opportunity to share information with these important public service partners. The greatest benefit and most important to me is that our, our friends in the media who understand us, uh, they know what's, what's happening currently, um, they help tell that story, and that we're transparent with the people of our nation to understand what our challenges are, to understand who we are. Quite frankly, not just to recruit and join our ranks, but I believe we owe it to the people of America to know what's happening inside their armed forces. Appreciate the opportunity to be out here today and appreciate the transparency. And I think government uh, and news media, you know, can work hand in hand and hold each other accountable when it comes to both of our reporting and, you know, what we're doing for you know, the citizens of Ohio, because at the end of the day, we both provide a service.